If you work in the events industry, you may be interested in collecting market data about events that are going on in your specific industry, location, or both. I'm going to show you how to collect this data legally from the official Ticketmaster API for free without having to write any code. You first want to head to the Ticketmaster developer portal. I'll put a link to this in the description so you can follow along. You want to look for these links to either register for an API or log into your Ticketmaster account. This is totally free. Ticketmaster wants you to have this data. You can see they have access tiers here. So the public endpoints that are totally free let you do event search, get event details. You can do all these things on the Discovery API totally for free. You can also do venue searches and get venue details if you're interested in those instead. So once you create an account, you'll see something like this and you'll probably want to click this button here called Add New App. Just pick any old name for your application. As long as it's not profane, you should be fine. For redirect URI, you can just type in HTTP colon localhost. It's not relevant because we're not actually going to use the OAuth product. You can probably just deselect it. We only need public API and create application. You'll see a screen like this when you're done. Then go back to that original documentation and click on this API Explorer link. I'll also put a link in the description. So this will let you make live API calls using your API key. I have mine blacked out so you can't steal it. Just click event search and click get to see an example. And here they show us the URL, a call to the API if you want to reproduce this, and they show you this nice preview of all the results here. They return a lot of data, and this is useful for browsing it. So you can see the basic details about the event here. They give you a bunch of images. You can click on these arrows to see more about these little fields. So you can see the URL to each of these images. You get some information about ticket sales, such as when did sales start and when do they end. You can see when the actual event begins, which is probably useful if you plan on going. You can see the date and the time all localized. They give you a few classifications, like this is sports, basketball, NBA, group, and team. You can see who's promoting the event here, as well as their ID. You can use to look up all their events, if that's useful to you, and some more information here. These are the price ranges, so the minimum ticket is $40, the max is $545, so you can see if you can actually afford to go or not. These look like upsells, you can probably click on these URLs for more info, maybe they're like unlimited drinks or something. Here's what's neat is the seat map. If you copy this link, you can see an image of the seat map for the stadium. And speaking of the venue, they give you a lot of information on the venue, like a URL, an ID, so you can look up other events at that venue, postcode, time zone, parking details, seating details. You also get an image to the venue's logo, which may be useful. You also get the address to where the venue is and coordinates, which could be useful if you plan on going to the event. Also some information about the market, so this is in California and Nevada and plenty of information on the box office, including their phone number if you want to call them for some reason. Here's some just general information about the venue and more information on how many upcoming events there are. And lastly, they give us a lot of details about the attractions, which are the teams that are playing or whoever's performing. So here we can see Sacramento Kings. We get an ID so we can look up more events about them. And this is neat. We get the URLs for their Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and web page if they have them. So this could be useful if you're trying to do outreach to people who perform at events. You also get some images, classifications, etc. To download this, go and click on this JSON tab, and you can copy this huge block of JSON for your own purposes. Now let's move on to parameters. So before we just got a bunch of general untargeted events, but if we want to narrow this down, say by a keyword, we can type in any type of keyword that will match the type of event. So I'm going to type in music to see if maybe I can get some concerts instead of sporting events. And then we can narrow this down further by locations. They have many options from postal code to latitude, longitude, but I think it's easiest to just put in a city name. So I'm gonna type in Miami and scroll down past all these other options we'll get into briefly and click the get button to get some new results. And now we see in the results, we get Ultra Music Festival in downtown Miami, which sounds about right. We can see all the details as we did before in the previous example. I'm not gonna do another deep dive. We do get a few bad results, like this is another sporting event. I don't know what this has to do with music, but we can see a lot of them are mostly music events. So be careful, just maybe filter these out when you get the actual results. You can also do some more specific targeting, like with one of these many fields. I think you can filter by category. You can filter by when the tickets go on sale, when the event is, all these other fields that are kind of complicated. I don't want to go into all of them right now in this video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to. But what I do want to show you is this is really cool, is that you can go up to this venue ID and you can actually find any major venue you're interested in. So just put in a keyword, so I'm gonna just type in stadium, and then click get, and you'll see a bunch of popular venues you can select. So I'm just gonna click use this ID, and now I can restrict the results to only show me events from this venue. If I do that though, I wanna delete my music keyword, maybe unless you wanna see only music events, but definitely you wanna delete the city of Miami, because I don't think that stadium is in Miami. And now I can see all the upcoming events at the SoFi Stadium. So this is useful if you want to stalk a particular venue. Back to the API documentations, there are a lot of these different query parameters you can use. 
I think I covered the most important ones, but let me know in the comments if there are any specific ones you want me to cover next, and I can do a follow-up video on how to use those, but they seem pretty self-explanatory. Just watch out for these gotchas and make sure you format dates properly. And pro tip, set size to 200 if you want to get the maximum number of results, and you can use pagination with this page field here. I leave sort alone, it defaults to relevance, but you can override it if you'd like. I don't know why they have random here, who would possibly want that sort order? Now if you want to get this data into a CSV file you can actually use, I'm going to show you how to do that with a freemium service I provide. Just click the link in the description and sign up for a free account, then find this events endpoint here. Go back to your Ticketmaster apps and then copy this consumer key so we can make requests on your behalf. Paste it in here and leave everything else blank so we'll just get a random set of events from Ticketmaster. On this page, you'll see that our software auto-magically parsed all that big, messy JSON into downloadable CSV files you can use, with every single field that we demoed earlier, including all those venue details, Twitter links, Facebook links, etc. So here's a CSV file. All of those details are going to be all the way to the right-hand side. I'm not going to go over them because I showed you what those fields were in the beginning of the video, but they're all here. Our software also parses out sub-collections separately. So for example, these are all the attractions, the teams that we're playing. We can download them all as a single combined CSV file, as well as these other things like images, external links to Facebook, Instagram, etc. And we can also set some parameters like we did earlier. So I'm going to set city Miami, then keyword music. And this is going to pump in the parameters just like we did before on the official API. And bam, we see Ultra Music Festival. And we get 200 results here because we pin the size to 200, as I mentioned earlier. So we can download this as a CSV file like before. But what about the next 200? We'll go down under page, type in 1. Yes, for some reason, pagination starts at zero with Ticketmaster, and we get the next set of results here. But if you want these combined, you can use a workflow. Just scroll up and click Import. Enter in all your details as before. So here I'm going to put in my API key from Ticketmaster. Under City, you can enter in Miami. You can also do one value per line. So if you want to look up multiple cities like Las Vegas, for example, and New York, this will make requests and combine them all together. You can also do this for keyword. However, I'm just going to enter one keyword for now. Otherwise, it gets kind of messy and difficult to explain. And under the page option, you can review the auto pagination settings. So this is just going to increase the page by one each time. But I'm going to set a limit. So I don't want it to do more than 10 pages total per city. So I'm going to set this to nine. So under the preview section here, it's going to make 10 total requests for Miami looking for music events. It's going to make 10 total requests for Las Vegas looking for music and 10 for New York. 10 pages per city and it's going to combine everything together into one CSV file for me. And here are my results. I got about 2,500 events and it only took about 4 minutes to run. So we can download this data here, which I'll show you momentarily. But I want to point out, we didn't actually need that pagination limit. We only got to five total pages for New York. You can see it stopped at page five, which is actually page six. Miami only got to four total pages, and Las Vegas got to five total pages. But keep in mind, I provided a keyword filter. If you did not provide a keyword, you may want to apply that pagination limit to avoid getting an obscene number of results. So here are the results here. You can see that there's a lot of these duplicates here. They look like duplicates, but they're actually just different events on different days. So you can tell that by the ID in column E is going to be different for all of them. So just keep that in mind as you sift through the results. If you're interested in scraping events, why not check out my other video on scraping Eventbrite through their official API in conjunction with our HAR file web scraper. If you like this, please like the video and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching until the end and have a wonderful day.